Did you see that guy's steampunk uh, goggles? Those were fucking so funny. Allergies <laughs> make lousy parachutes. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another little one for fun. What a look. As always, I am Rose Lone Wolver, and I am on my girl, Bonnie Belladina. And my wife, the other lone wolfer, is behind us on our girl, Michelle. And we are on a mission to find a house. Yes, we are house hunting in the state of Connecticut right now. Uh, yes, it is a very rough time to be looking for a home. But it is our time. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. That's all over the second we ride up Troy's bucket. And we are seizing it. Uh, we are ready to uh, move on to the next chapter of our life and own a home. And uh, yeah, we're on our way up to actually view three maybe four houses in the Middletown area of Connecticut. Um, right now we are riding through the beautiful North Brantford, Connecticut. Uh, this is a town that we would also very much like to find a home in. But uh, Slim Pickens right now. Uh, oh wait, here's a house for sale. Is this back on the market? Because that one, that one was actually off the market for a while. Huh. I'm going to have to look that one up again. But yes, one of the things that we are actually interested in doing is uh, buying a multifamily, specifically a duplex. You know, we want to take our piece of that uh, age-old real estate pie and try to make it work for us. And uh, we feel that uh, one of the best ways to do that would be to uh, get a duplex right now because of COVID and the eviction, a moratorium, and all those types of things. Uh, there aren't a lot of them actually for sale, or if they are for sale, they're not in the best shape. Uh, today, we are actually not looking at any duplexes. We are just looking at straight uh, single residence homes. But yeah, we looked at one yesterday. Uh, I was actually not able to go. I had to be on FaceTime because I had to work uh, as I am an event DJ, sometimes on the weekends. And, uh, I had to work a beach party and it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I was on FaceTime with the other little warfer as she went through the house and she was very impressed and got a little excited. And so we put an offer in on that house. Uh, that was a uh, very big step in, uh, in adulting for us. And uh, yeah, my anxiety level is a bit high. Um, it, uh, it, there's no guarantee that we're going to win the bid. Uh, it is kind of difficult to even uh, think that we are going to be in the top two or three bids. Uh, we tried to structure it so that, uh, you know, we would A, be able to make money off the house by renting out the other side and living in one half um, if we were to win. But there, there's no guarantees on that. Uh, you know, we didn't want to go outside of our budget and we didn't want to go outside of the assessed value of the actual residence by uh, more than more than really 20 or 30 percent because hey what if the market flips upside down uh, we don't want to be underwater on that sucker uh, i know rentals are always you know in need and all that kind of stuff so that's that's a plus that's kind of why we we shot the shot we did uh but yeah crossing our fingers that uh this will this will be something we get and we don't have to continue house hunting. But as of right now, today, we are still house hunting. And uh, yeah, it's been a, been a difficult process so far, uh, but I think it always is when you're trying to get a mortgage. I don't think anybody has just like the smoothest thing ever. Um, my, my friend who was on the hunt uh, the past couple months, who shared the same real estate agent that I am using, because it was actually a recommendation from her to actually go with this person. Uh, you know, she she put in about five different bids on houses and didn't didn't come out on top until the last one, which happened to be my aunt's house that came on the market for four days. And my friend scooped it up before I even really got a chance to look at it or even talk to my aunt. <laughs> but no, good for her. I'm happy that she found a place. Uh, she is 
uh, a very close friend of mine. I, I consider her family. Uh, I am considered part of her extended family. Uh, her aunt is basically my adopted mom. So, yeah, I'm very happy for them and I can't wait for them to get in that house and have a housewarming party so I can go in and, and hang out there. As you can also see in front of me, I am using my Garmin Nuvi uh, GPS unit. Uh, the screen might be hard to see, but I hope you can see that. Uh, I have my icon as a monster truck. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out that uh, this is winning right now in my testing of uh, GPS units, uh, GPS apps, and uh, whether or not I want to use a phone, uh, my, my current actual cell phone or an older phone just set up as uh, a GPS unit, things like that. Um, I'm, I'm really liking this, this Garmin unit, to be honest. Uh, having the standalone one that, you know, I just plug it in, put it on the bike, and it's gonna always have a GPS signal. It's gonna always work. There's never gonna be an issue. Um, getting the GPS signal, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, lose directions. It's kind of nice. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of it. So, yeah, it's telling me right now I gotta turn on the Reed's Gap Road. So, uh, yeah, 0.2 miles. Uh, another cool thing is it gives it the speed at, at which I am traveling. It tells me the speed of the road. And I need to turn right here. Oops. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. I did not uh, realize Reed's Gap was that close. Can you hear me again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I kind of, this, the, the screen got like a little bit too much glare on it. Oh, no. I knew I, knew I had to turn to Re Reed's Gap, but I thought it was like another half a mile. It's all good. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, he's turning. I'm not going to try to turn now. <laughs> but I also started filming a vlog, so. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw you talk with your hands. I was like, oh, he's probably, probably filming. And the other thing that uh, I happen to be working on is uh, setting up a secondary uh, way of uh, recording the uh, communications between the other lone wolfer and I and I've actually put two microphones in my helmet uh, using a Y connector to splice those um, only because uh, you know she doesn't always want to have a camera on her helmet but if I want to have her included in the conversation I can hopefully still have her included in the conversation what say you the other lone wolfer yeah, I'm all about it. It's kind of fun trying different ways of doing a moto vlog and and doing it together. I'm um, still kind of trying to get the hang of the GoPro and, and how it works, so it's kind of fun to be able to have that other option in the meantime. Uh, as some of you may know from a previous vlog where we rode the Kank, uh, about 10 minutes into the ride, we lost all of her footage because of a failure on the camera, whether or not uh, it was because the battery died or for some reason to decide to give up the ghost that day. Uh, I'm not sure. It's working now and it seems to be holding a charge and I had it running for about two hours just to check it and it seemed to do its thing but as many of you out there know gremlins they're everywhere <laughs> sometimes they attack the GoPro. Those, those gnarly gremlins. Ah, those, those little fuckers. This fucking bike is so loud. Sometimes. Oh, yours? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I did tell you that we could invest in the quieter baffles. Uh, maybe. I, I, I love it, but <laughs> people know I'm coming, which is nice, but I also forgot to bring my earplugs today, so that's Oh. Cool. I need to be better about wearing those on the rig. They, they are very helpful. I, I might even start wearing them on this bike, even though this bike isn't anywhere near as loud as that one. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for us right now. We're, uh, we're gonna sign off and we're going to uh, continue our ride as we house hunt here in Connecticut. Uh, look at that barn. I wonder how long that car's been sitting there. I've never noticed that riding by. Have you ever noticed that thing sitting there? No. Nope. Wow. Yeah, that's like a old like Chrysler Voyager or something like that, I think maybe, or 
whatever the hell it is, but it looks like a, you know, a, a Star Trek shuttle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep riding uh, up to Middletown to go look at some houses, and uh, hope that uh, all of you are having a fantastic summer. And uh, if you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, keep on trucking. And uh, if you have subscribed, do it. It's free.